Hello. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> can I put you on hold? Yes, you can. I know what's happening. <laughs> trying to talk to someone. Hello. Hello. It's so nice to have you on the show. Thank you for having me. Yeah, we always see you on Twitter, like engaging with us, and we're like, we got to get her on. So thank you so much for taking the time <laughs> yeah, to come you on. Are brilliant. <laughs> so how are you feeling? Obviously, this is massive. Like, tell us how you feel. Uh, obviously, very, very happy. I think very relieved as well. Although, obviously, it, it's been done now for a few weeks. It was the excitement was building to obviously come to the King Power, and I think the way we played and stuff today was we've shown why we're champions um mm -hmm. so i'm really proud of the girls really proud of everyone at the club um and just buzzing for next year now yeah absolutely and you came you bounced back from that loss against lewis and you came back and you guys were phenomenal today and you were phenomenal in that midfield position we always talk about you on the show we always say if we see you go down at all we're like oh no like remy's down she's got to get back up we got to get her back in so you're just outstanding today and what a performance to come back from that loss Thank you very much. Uh, yeah, I think obviously with losing this game weekend, we know we needed a response. And to be honest with you, I don't think there was any way that we could come to the King Power and lose because it wouldn't have looked good. Uh, so I think we, you know, we were on it from the first whistle. I thought we played probably one of our best games of the season. Um, the pitch mm -hmm. is beautiful, which obviously helps. Uh, but it was really, really enjoyable, which was really good for us. And you've just now lifted the trophy, so you, you know you've won the league. How does that lifting the trophy feel compared to when you were announced champions? I, m I imagine both are just amazing. Yeah, it's special. I think it, it's just the occasion. It's just being in the King Power. It's, you know, everything that they put on for us, the, fi the firework things and all that stuff. It was just brilliant. I think, you know, you dream all year of getting promoted. You don't actually think about what the, the celebrations would look like. Um, and obviously being a Leicester girl, been to this stadium many times as a fan as a kid uh it was you know a bit of a dream come true to be honest with you to do this today and on the show we always talk about how you clearly have such an influence on the club we see posts about how remy gave us a talk at halftime we talked to ashley and she said remy was really helping me when i was playing in that midfield position she's telling me not to run as much and all that so you're clearly such a huge influence in the club and i think it's safe to say that you're definitely a lesser legend Oh, I mean, I don't know about that. I think if you look at this group, I'm the oldest player we've got. Um, and that I show my age a lot with this group because they're so young. <laughs> Obviously, I'm fortunate to have a lot of experience in the WSL. So that was part of the reason coming was to be able to use that and help the youngsters and help the team push on. Um, so I'm really happy to play a part in that. Yeah, I mean, your age doesn't show in your movement, that's for sure. You're always on top of everything. So I would not know how old you are. So talking about the WSL next season and you've had experience in the WSL, how are you feeling going back into the WSL with Leicester? Uh, I'm excited. I, if I'm being brutally honest, I've hated being away from the WSL. I love, I love the mm -hmm. football. I love the aggression. I love the tempo. It's just another level, obviously, because it's a step up. Um, I'm excited with, with this club. You know, it's my hometown club. It's a dream to go into the WSL. Under no illusions, it's going to be hard. It's going to be tough. Um, I'm the type of player who loves a battle, loves to be an underdog. And I think that's what we're going to be for the majority of the season. So I'm really excited for it. I'm obviously aware of the how hard it's going to be. But yeah, I just mm -hmm. want to get going with it. Yeah, we keep saying that people are looking at Leicester like, oh, they're just Leicester coming up from the championship. It's like, no, they're Leicester. Look at how good they've been all season. And you guys definitely gave Manchester City a challenge earlier this season in the FA Cup. So I think that you guys are not a force to be reckoned with and no one should be doubting Leicester whatsoever. We have an amazing team. And just kind of looking ahead at things, back at the FA Cup as well as the WSL, you're facing Manchester United in a couple of weeks. How are you guys feeling just kind of looking forward to that game? I think I think it's going to be a massive test. I think it probably will be a bit of a, you know, let's see where we're at because it's all well and good doing it in the championship. But when you step up in the WSL, there's no weak side. Every game's hard. So to go and play United, it'll be a little bit like, OK, where actually are we? Um, obviously, everyone's excited. You want to you want to play against the best and you want to progress in the FA Cup. So, yeah, we're excited about that. You know, I think we'll have some celebrations for a few weeks um, and then we'll, we'll really like knuckle down and focus and get training hard for that game absolutely and you guys will enjoy your celebrations right now and just to finish things off you've moved into beaver drive lester have made such a huge statement of what that means to women's football the progression the support the funding everything you've been seeing from king power as well as 
you guys have such a phenomenal team of staff. We've had the t chance of talking with Jonathan and Jade and just everything over there seems amazing and <laughs> we just incredibly phenomenal is all I want to say, but you guys are really pushing things forward and you're making a statement to women's football in general and that's just so amazing to see. Yeah, I mean, we can't thank the club enough. The backing behind the scenes to allow us to, you know, to have the facilities that, that we have, the equipment, you know, being here today, all that stuff that because that comes from this, that comes from behind the scenes. Sorry, that comes from the backing from the board, and we're, you know, we're fortunate to have that. We're grateful for it, but we want to use it. We want to push on, and we still want the backing. We still want to get better year in, year out. And I think we're, we're a very good club that allows us to do that. So we're internally grateful for that. Absolutely. And I, I, I want to let you go celebrate, but just before we do, so what has been your favorite moment this season so far? Well, so far the season's over. What has been your favorite moment this season? Oh, that's a tough one. Um, <laughs> you know what? I actually think the the first game against Liverpool when we beat them, um, because there was, you know, there was a lot riding on that game and it was Liverpool and it had been built up and I think we really really made a statement from that moment on and from that moment on I was like you know we don't if we don't lose against three we're players we have a hell of a chance here um mm -hmm. so I think for me it was kind of a statement moment and obviously Paige with the great finish chance at the end who scored as well um so yeah I think for me that was the moment where I was like okay we've got a chance here so yeah I'd, I'd pick that Sorry, I lost you for a second there, so I was a bit frozen. But I'll hand things back to James. I'm not sure if he has any closing thoughts. Thank you so much for taking the time to come on. It means the world to us. And congratulations and enjoy your celebrations. No problem. Thanks for being great to us. No problems. Uh, thanks for coming on, Remy. Um, it's been amazing. Uh, it must be amazing walking out in that stadium. Um, I've walked down the tunnel once or twice, and Neil has as well. But it must be amazing walking out there for a game. Yeah, it's unreal. Do you know what? It's the only gutting thing is that family and friends are not in here uh, and fans because, you know, it would be amazing to share that with you. But yeah, it's, it's just been, I can't describe from minute one when I pulled up in the car park, I, I drove past the players entrance because I just didn't know where I was going and all the cars are there. And they're like, come on, you can park in here where the first team park is. They've just been fantastic. So yeah, it's been an unbelievable day. Um, and I think everyone's excited for the future. And can we see the medal? You can indeed. Can we? Can you see it? Is it heavy? Yeah. Do you know what it is? Yeah, it's really heavy. <laughs> I'm gonna take pride in my trophy cabinet. What did it feel like holding the trophy? What does the trophy feel like? Trophy's heavy. The trophy's really heavy. And it's got no handles. It's kind of a weird trophy. Um, yeah, no, it felt fantastic. Who was it that had someone on their shoulders running around with the trophy? That must have been twice as heavy with the trophy. Oh, it's Ash, but Ash is about seven foot, so she can have anyone on her shoulder. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you so much for joining us. We'll let you go celebrate. I know you probably just want to get some champagne, and I know I do too, so <laughs> have a good one, and thank you so, so much. No problem. Thank you. Cheers, guys. Thanks. Bye. Bye. Bye-bye.